this video from Casio Hill we're going to demonstrate how to program a barcode product on the SES 3000 register. This video presumes obviously you've got your barcode scanner set up and ready to go with the um, cash register. So this one's all set up ready to go we just haven't programmed any products in so every product we scan we get the not found PLU error message. Um, so what we need to do is to turn the key to PGM, arrow down to the system setting CA amount 10 to enter and then free subtotal 0071 subtotal gets you to the scanning menu of the programming. So what you need to do now is to, if you're adding a new product, which we are, it's 0 followed by CA amount 10. CA amount 10 is kind of like your return or enter button on a cash register. So it's basically you telling the till, yeah, that's my decision. I now want to move on to the next. Um, function because so you've got to be careful on the till it doesn't always tell you directly what it wants you to do um, so yeah the next thing to do direct main T PLU code basically means scan the barcode where's the bar there we go so you scan the barcode and it then asks you for the unit price type it in without pressing decimal points and then press cash amount 10 to confirm you then need to assign the uh, products to a department. I'm going to put mine into department 1 so it's the department number using the numeric keys then CA amount 10 to confirm. Description this product is GT85 so letters are entered easiest on here and numbers are entered easiest on here so to get to the number 8 you have to press the shift key 8 and then to get the 5 it's caps there we go. Cash amount 10 to save Status, um, you can just skip this and give it a standard status, but if you want it to be able to be multiple scans, i.e. five times and then scan the barcode product, you need to set the status of five zeros and then two, cash amount ten. Skip the stock because even though it says it, the tilt doesn't actually do stock on it. Um, and then when you're finished, subtotal, key back to reg and then let's scan our barcode product Where is it? there we go that's programmed and what I meant by the scanning multiples four times and then scan the product if I hadn't set that status to five zeros two um, it wouldn't it would have errored then and you'd have to scan each barcode individually which might not necessarily be a bad thing but that, that's how it works it's up to you how you implement it okay so that's how to program a barcode product so have fun doing all that on the till um, check out more videos which are coming up on screen now showing you different ways of using and programming the register you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching